Hello and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Stephanie and I'm the creative behind my Prince collection. On today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I would create an alcohol ink piece with my alcohol ink brush uh, pack from the beginning to the end of the process. If you like this kind of uh, videos and wanna see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button because a brand new video will be posted every Tuesday with a tutorial or walkthrough of my brush pack sets. So without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. So let's open the Procreate app. If you wanna see, have a walkthrough of the brushes, I have a link a video that I've made previously, I will have a link in the description below. But the purpose of this tutorial will be how to uh, how I would create an alcohol ink uh, piece from the beginning to the end of the the, the process. So I've opened the Procreate app and I've opened the the screen size canvas. And I'm gonna start with my um, alcohol ink uh, swatch. So you have two swatches. I'm gonna use the alcohol ink swatch to create the, the basic of my um, piece. So I will open, I will have this new layer and I'm gonna change this layer to multiply. From there, I will select one of the, the two textures that, I've, that, that are provided in the, this pack. So I'll go with a canvas texture and I will select a dark orange and I will stamp it twice. I like this effect over here. And then I'm gonna add a new layer and this layer I'm gonna place it underneath my texture uh, layer and change its mode to multiply and then I'm gonna duplicate this layer several times it's really up to you but I like to do this because it allows me to uh, have control over my stamps where I want to place them if I want to rotate them if I want to increase the size so it gives me more control during the, the, the process so we'll go through these brushes later to add some some um, effects at the very end, and for this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna use, uh, for example, the long, um, the second long brush. I'm gonna stamp it over here, and then I'm gonna place it on the corners. And as I've mentioned, I'm gonna change if I want to. I'm gonna rotate this a little bit. I place this one over here, potentially increase a little bit. And I like this effect. On a separate layer, I will keep stamping until I get um, a piece that I enjoy. So I'm gonna add some orange, select another brush. Let's go with this one. And then I will rotate it like this. You will you really need to like to take your time to get used to the brushes and until you get the final the result that you're going for. So I'm gonna go to another layer and the guide also will show you how um, how to select a couple of colors or examples. So this alcohol ink swatch over here, you can use the colors as the line or horizontal. And I think that they are quite cool combinations. So then I'll go through to a darker color, select another stamp. Let's go with this one, increase the size. And then place it over here. I'm gonna use one of the R brushes. Flower, for example. So 
So you see where I'm going with this. So take your time. I'm gonna speed up the video until I'm happy with the piece that I've created. So once I'm happy with the piece that I've created, um, what, I'm, what I normally do is all the layers that I've used to create, to stamp, I will select them and group them. And then what I like to do is if I want to increase the effect, I will duplicate those layers and it creates like a very intense effect of the alcohol ink. But I also like to experiment with colors. So the previous layer I'm gonna unselect and the layer that I've created, I'm gonna flatten. And then I will go to my adjustments and I can use the liquidify tool if I wanna push a little bit the alcohol ink to my liking. If I want to, I can smudge a little bit if I want some of the, not the eraser, the smudge. So if I want to create a smudge over here, so the possibilities, it's really up to you. Um, so you can use a liquidify to adjust the where your, um, your liquid is, you can use the smudge effect, the smudge brushes. And also another cool thing that I like to do is if I'm not quite sure with the, the colors, I like to call to play with hue saturation and brightness and also color balance. So here, hue saturation and brightness. So one of the other things why I like to duplicate, to make a duplicate of my artwork is if I don't like the end result, I can always go back to my safety, to my backup. So um, here you can change the hue if you want like a more purple, greenish color. Pinkish, bluish, and then you can increase the saturation, decrease the saturation brightness over here and then I will go to the color balance and play with the um, colors over here the cyan magenta and yellows so I will actually increase over here And then you can uh, change the color balance of your shadows, your mid-tones and your highlights. So I would play with this to see how it turns out. Kind of like this effect. So as you can see, you can spend a lot of time playing with the colors. So let me show you the difference. So this is with a couple of, uh, I've changed the settings of this uh, canvas. And this was the previous one. And this is the new one. So if I don't like it, I can always go back to my previous layer and use that if I want to. But I think this is quite, interesting effect so once I'm happy happy with this what I'm gonna do is add some details so on the top of all the layers I'm gonna create a couple of layers and I'm gonna go to my top brushes and for example use the gold magic so I will select a color from the metallic uh, palette and then I can 
create crease and I can create some effect over here. creates kind of a cool gold effect but what I also like to do is to actually use the gold stamp so I will create and stamp and adjust to my likings This one really helps you speed up the process. So you just tap, place, and change where it's positioned. You can increase or decrease like this. And it will really help and speed up the, the process. So once you're kind of happy with the gold effect, I'm not going to do the entire piece. Um, what I like to do is add more layers. And I like to use some gold splash over right here. You can really get a lot of splash if you want. And then I have the gold meat splash, so. Opacity, if you want, and the size. Great. And you can add some gold dust. this over here and then very end I will use the single drop or the multiple drops and use the color white on top of the layers and I will create some bubbles And there you go. This was a quick tutorial on how I would create a piece. Of course, that I will spend more time to adjust the defect and um, how I will present this piece. But you get quite an, ov an overview of the endless possibilities that you can do with these brushes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out the link down below if you wanna try out a sample of this brush pack. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because a brand new tutorial or brush set overview will be posted uh, uh, on a weekly basis. And see you soon and happy drills.